First, do you see my screen for? Happy Sabbath, everyone! Happy Sabbath! Praise the Lord that I have... Uh, I naka-arrive po ako in your church. Yeah. Very nice. Praise the Lord with a nice uh, nature around us. Because we are all tired of looking at uh, wolves. <laughs> At least dito, ano, no? um, oh, it's like an office that has uh, almost half of the wall is glass. Yeah. And like Abraham living in tents also. Yeah, I remember Abraham. So most of the time in my first uh, sermon in, in any church that which I come, I just... Uh, since I... I don't know many of you, and you don't know me, but we are sure that in any Adventist church, we believe at least 28 things pareho tayo ng belief. And that's what we're going through very quickly, just uh, reviewing. But before that, po, I found the reference that uh, Sir was 
asking a while ago about the, the woman with two mites, where is the alabaster? Uh, alabaster. Ayan. Sabi dito po, how many have been inspired to loving service by the memory of that broken alabaster box? And how she will rejoice as she beholds all this. Ay. On, and the outworking of all these lines of influence, she in the day of God will be permitted to see. So multitudes have been blessed through her unselfish deeds. So yung na-influence niya, makikita niya yun, kaya Jesus said it's actually more than those, those other things that were put there. See, it has brought to the treasury of God. Bakit naging more? Because it has brought to the treasury of God gifts from high and low, rich and poor. It is the her example pala. Ganun din, influence. Her example has brought to the treasury of God plenty. Di ba? Kaya yung sabi ni Jesus Christ, it is more, it actually became true. Because it's God's word. Yeah? Because number one, belief that we all believe is the Holy Scriptures. Yan. Old and New Testaments. And the Scripture reading. Thank you for the song and the Scripture reading. And everything else that comes before. Uh, our special Scripture reading is says in Isaiah 8.20. Ito daw po ang pinakamahalagang. This is the most important verse in the Bible daw. According to one pastor I heard. <clears throat> because it says to the law and to the testimony... If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. I want to specifically focus on the word according. For example, after I, after if if I say if after I finish the preaching, I'm going to uh, AUP. That's what I said, yeah. But Sir Milky says after finishing preaching, serving is going to Morning View. Ang tanong ko, is that uh, contradict... Eh, mali pala yung question ko, sorry. Sir Milky says, after preaching, Sir Milky is going to save more. Tama ba, pataas? Okay. That is contradiction, di ba? Because I said, I'm going to AP, but Sir Milky said, I'm going to save more. That is opposite direction. And that is not according, right? Is it according? No. Is it, is it, is it opposite? Yes. But if I say, I'm going to AP, and Mr. Milky says, he is going to AAP. It is, is it contradiction? No. Is it according? Yes. But if I say, I'm going to AAP, but Sir Milky says, Sir Milky is going to Morning View. Is it contradiction? Yes. No, direction. Not necessarily, di ba? Not totally contradiction. But is it according? No. Kasi kapos. What we believe should be according to what the Bible says. Hindi kapos. Hindi lang yung hindi bawal. But, actually, it should be positively advertised and promoted in the Bible. When the Bible says, you do it, we do it. If the Bible doesn't say, I think it's waste of time. Because if, if it is important for salvation, God put it in the Bible. So, that is the requirement. Everything else uh, under this, in the fundamental beliefs, we do not believe it if it's not according. Yeah? Ganun kahigpit. Our beliefs are only according to God's word. That is how strict it is. Hindi lang kapos, hindi lang hindi bawal. Dapat nandun talaga sa Bible. It is promoted. And so all the other rest, do you know why we don't baptize infants? Does the Bible say, thou shalt not baptize infants? I read the whole Bible. I listened to it in MP3. I did not find it. Why don't we do it? Because it is not according. The Bible doesn't say we should do it. Therefore, because the enemy wants to distract us with so many things that are not God's word. The Bible says anything that is not of faith is sin. So the enemy wants to distract us with so many things that because the enemy knows what God's word is. And the enemy wants to fake everything God's word does. He wants to fake marriage, the, uh, God said man and woman, but Satan will say no, woman and woman, or man and man, and, uh, or one man and many women, or something like that. He wants to take everything. 
God says, salvation is, we are saved by grace through faith. And then Satan will say, you pay. It is nice fundraising. O, oh, diba? So, everything is faith. Ano pa? Kaya, if there are issues in the church, the way to resolve it is to look what is according to God's word. And one more thing, the guy from Biblical Research Institute, one time I was in Ayas sitting, and then somebody from DIR in the GC sat beside me. Oh, very lucky who sat beside me. It is uh, Clint, Clifford, Clint, uh, no, 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 Goldstein, no, 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 I uh, forgot. But the guy who is, uh, he was Comsai before he became Adventist, and then he studied in, uh, in Europe, and now he's working in the BII. He said, Win, there is one more way to study the Bible. Aside from Isaiah 8.20, it has to be according. There is one more way. He said, what is it, Pastor? He said, all scripture. Meaning, if you have an issue that you're trying to find out the research, you have to read the whole thing, not only one verse. I think I'm hearing some hing hing. You, you have to read the whole Bible before concluding of anything. Yes. Okay. So, you have read the whole Bible. We do not make doctrines from a few verses and a few chapters. We review the whole Bible and see the whole thing. You see, all scripture is inspired by God. Yeah. Okay. So, it has to be according to God's word and it is all scripture. Yeah. Okay. Sabi kasi nung iba, I, New Testament lang ang, we only want to believe New Testament according to some. But in the New Testament, Jesus says, Moses said, therefore Jesus believes Moses, right? Okay, very nice. Bible is the most powerful. Do we believe the Bible? Yes. Have we read the whole Bible? Okay. If you have not read the whole Bible and you want to listen to the whole Bible, you download the MP3 and you put it in a queue. And then you play it. It will, I think it will only take you two weeks if you listen eight hours a day. <laughs> you can finish the Bible. John, the book of John, you can finish it in one hour of traffic. <laughs> John 1, the whole hour. So I have finished the New Testament many times over just because of driving. If you listen to it in MP3, you might fall asleep. But if you're driving, <laughs> you cannot fall asleep, right? So if you drive to Bicol, you listen to it, and then you hear many, many things that you have never heard before. So the Word of God is very powerful, and it is the basis of everything, the most powerful. It changes people. Foolish people become evangelists. Amen? Okay, God's Word, very powerful. It brings words into existence, according to the song. How am I supposed to get rid of all these uh, pop-ups? Okay. And one more thing, we believe the Trinity. God is so big, He doesn't fit in mathematics. God is so big, He doesn't fit in the English uh, language, or Greek, or Hebrew, or Tagalog, or English, or uh, all the languages cannot describe God. That's why we are having a hard time understanding the Trinity. But the Bible says there is God the Father in Exit in Genesis, let us create man in his own. It's plural. And then it says, Go ye therefore, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, Trinity. And number one in Trinity is It's God the Father, who is the sustainer, sovereign. Okay. God the Son, He became Jesus Christ. And he is our example in perfect life. Okay? He is our, uh, no, our, our hero. One pastor came to AUP doing revival. And then I was helping him. And then he asked me, Win, how is your relationship with Jesus? No, 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 I don't know. I want an answer from the Bible. So I don't know what to answer. I said, I don't know. <laughs> he left a long, long time ago. But I know they are one, because the Bible says we have only one God, one baptism. So, I don't know, but I was praying for an answer. And then I found an answer in 1 John 2, 3. 
Herein do you know that you know him? If ye keep his commandments, and those who say I know him but who don't keep the commandments are liar, diba? I'm not telling that to me. So, if you want to measure your relationship with Jesus, you have a checklist. Commandments, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. So, how you keep, what is our relationship with Jesus? The objective measurement is keeping commandments according to 2 uh, John 2, 3. Okay. Holy Spirit, according to one pastor, this is the number one need of the church because Jesus left already, but the Holy Spirit tells us, convicts us. One time I stole, uh, <laughs> I stole the, ano, yung number sa, ano, yung number dun sa Jollibee. <laughs> yung number sa Jollibee, kinuha ko. Tapos, ano, nag-take out kasi ako, kinuha ko rin yung number. Tapos dala-dala ako, nilagay ko sa sakyan ko, pinagmamalakang ko pa, nakuha ko yung number ng Jollibee. <laughs> But the Holy Spirit came to me. Eh, mali yung ginagawa, no, bakit kung pinagmamalaki yung ninakaw mo sa Jollibee? So, sabi ko, paano ko babalik ka na, hindi ko pang pagalitan. So, I put it in one bag, and then I drove back to that branch, and then I put, I left it in the CR. Hopefully, they found it. <laughs> The Holy Spirit convicts us of sin and helps us to repent. It also, he also gives us spiritual gifts. So everything we know is because the Holy Spirit gave it to us. Diba? He shall teach you all things. Sabi niya sa Bible. Yan, the Holy Spirit. I have a book, The Greatest Need of the Church, The Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Nilista doon ni Ron Close all the things in the Bible that promotes how the Holy Spirit comes to people, and all the things in the Bible that drives away the Holy Spirit. So, very nice. One time, if you have time. Creation, we believe that we are not from monkey. Because if we are from monkey, how come monkey is still around? <laughs> diba? <laughs> if we are from monkeys, how come the monkey is still around? They should have all become men. <clears throat> so, we were created in God's image, Yan. That's why Sir Milky likes to make things as an engineer. Because God likes to make things. Do you know why you want to invent things? Because God wants to create things. God created the world. That's why we like to invent. We want to build a house. We want to build uh, all those things we want to build. Nature of man, we were created perfect, but we fell. Because of sin, we are like banana plant. That's yung mga banana plant na malapit ng matumba, matutumba na talaga. Tutukuran mo ng konti. Yan. So we are like that. <coughs> Falling nature. Fallen nature. Because our descendants were fallen nature. Anong mamamana nila? Kundi, alam niyo kung bakit maluloko yung anak? Yung magulang siguro yun. <laughs> Kanina ba nagmamana yung mga ano? Yung mangga, aanak. <laughs> <laughs> yung mangga daw, ang buma niyan, mangga rin. Okay. Because Adam and Eve, dahil makulit si Adam and Eve, makulit din tayo. Yeah? Sabi niya kasi ni Satanas, you eat this at no cost. <laughs> Alam niya, at no cost, libre daw yun. It cost us life. At no cost daw. Baka kain ka nito, you will become more intelligent at no cost. Libre ka naman yun, di ba? Akala niya, no cost. Di ba, we did, we did not, uh, dapat kasi ko consult ni Eve si Eve. Si Eve kasi, okay, mabuti. We are blaming each other. <laughs> Bakit daw hindi pinakura na lang yun? Sabi ng ano, safety engineer. <laughs> Kung bawal naman. Bakit daw walang bakod? Oo nga naman. But it is a test, yeah? Okay. So, but God will restore in man the lost image. That is the whole thing about salvation. Yan. The great controversy. Mas marami ang, there are more good angels than bad angels, right? If you see an evil angel, don't worry. There are two good angels <laughs> to match that. If you just ask help, they will come and drive away the evil angel. Because only one third of the angel came, uh, fall, fell down, right? And one more thing, only our our earth fell to sin. The rest, they are not touched their forbidden fruit. They are still uh, unfallen. So, 
we are now in the theater of the universe. Everybody around us is looking at us. Yeah? The great controversy. What is the controversy about? Worship. Pasamba. <laughs> Pasamba. Marapit na sa name ko. That's why I tell my relatives, you should uh, leave your name. We should worship. We should be worshipful. Because our name is about worship. So the, the issue is, sino ang maniyo? Who will you believe? Because who we believe determines where we go. Right? If we believe Satan, then we go where he is going. If we believe God, then we go, we win the great controversy. Yan. Of course, God will win the great controversy and we are invited to win with him. So, kanina tayo magiging uh, loyal. Siyempre, to God. Because God can resurrect us. Even the, our enemies are friends. Even Sermit is my friend. He cannot resurrect me <laughs> if I die. So, I, if Sermit tells me to do something wrong, I should not follow him. I should follow God. Yeah? Should, we, should we follow man or God according to the New Testament? So, we should follow the stronger power. Kung sino yung mas malakas, dun tayo kakapit. And of course, stronger is God. God is stronger. He created the whole world. Anong naman nilaban ni Satanas dyan? He is just a creature like us. Life, death, and resurrection of Christ. I was in Facebook, I was debating with the atheists. <laughs> and then I told them, you guys, you should look for on your own date system. Because the date now is 2022. That's 2022 since Jesus was around. If you are an atheist, you should have uh, millions and millions of years. <laughs> Diba? Galit tuloy sila. They banned me from their, ano, their group. And they sent all the evil, evil uh, words in the dictionary to my ano, messenger. <laughs> Those people who hate God, they full of evil, uh, all the bad things in the dictionary, they will send to your, ano. so one day I blocked so many people, 50 people. <laughs> who are sending me evil words. Because they hate God. They know that God is there. God was there. God, Jesus was here. Because there is proof. I told them, you go to I don't know, Israel. You take pictures. They said, oh, we will only see sand there <laughs> and stones. You see, even the evidence, if, even if the evidence is right in front of you, they still uh, do not believe. Okay, but we have all the proof. And the best thing is the resurrection, yeah? All every other uh, hero of religion is dead, but Jesus Christ can resurrect himself from the dead. That's why our loyalty is on Jesus Christ, amen? Okay, and experience of salvation. This is the number one purpose of the whole Bible of AUP of the church. For foolish people like us <laughs> to become instruments of salvation to other people, like Moses, he was carrying the Ten Commandments. It says, thou shalt not kill. But do you remember he killed someone? <laughs> In Egypt. Bakit siya ang pinapagkaganong ano? Thou shalt not kill the Ten Commandments. Hindi ba mayroon siyang history? Namat namatay niya? Napatay niya yung ano? Slave, uh, slave master sa Egypt. So, so, even in the New Testament, the guy who persecuted many Christians, like Saul, he wrote half of the New Testament, almost, almost half of the New Testament. So any foolish guy like us, God can use for the salvation of other people. Wow, experience of salvation. Everybody benefits from this, yeah? You have been saved, you are being saved, nililigtas, and you will be saved. You will be saved. Okay, that is the... Justification, sanctification, and glorification. Okay. Finally, when Jesus comes. Growing in Christ, this is the newest Adventist belief, fundamental belief. There are two parts of this. We have to continue reading the Bible, if, even if you have read it already. Do you remember? <laughs> How many percent of the Bible do you remember after you read it? Diba? We are like baskets. You pour water and only a few water is remaining on the basket. So we continue to read because we are forgetful. Yeah. You read the Bible even if it's MP3 or Bible or scroll or even if it's in the table of stones. Diba? Maraming format. But God's word is powerful no matter what the format is. So we continue to read God's word to meet together. The other half of this fundamental belief 
is we are not uh, we are not afraid of evil spirits anymore. Why? Because in other parts of the world, <laughs> they are Adventists, but they still believe in, they are still afraid of evil spirits. They are they have two religions. <laughs> Meron pa silang mga anting anting and so on. So our church put this together so that we will not be afraid of evil spirits. Because it says in Romans 8, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor evil angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor evil powers, can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. That's why in our, in our school in Naga, when somebody is possessed by evil spirit, when they call on the name of Jesus, the evil spirit has to go away. Yeah, Because there is a rules of engagement in the great controversy, both sides have to respect our decision. If we go with this Satan, then the good angels has to uh, has to go away. But if we decide to side with Jesus Christ, then the enemy the enemy has to go away. Yeah, church. Yeah, that's why we are here. We are believers in Jesus Christ from Adam to the end of the world. Everybody who believes in Jesus Christ is part of the church. And of course, there are biblical characteristics. Since Satan wants to fake everything, so the Bible has characteristics of the true church. Yeah? They keep the commandments of God, they have the faith of Jesus, 